Okay, so we have a 2021 uh, Custom GNU Low Tide 25 um, LT25 that we purchased just the haul, the trailer. Um, it came with, uh, we had Blue Point put on a pulling platform and the grab rail on the casting deck. Other than that, everything else has been rigged by us, or by myself, I should say. Um, I did have an authorized Yamaha dealer put on the 25, so for warranty purpose, same thing with the jack plate. So we'll start in the back of the boat. We have an, uh, a four-stroke 25-horse uh, uh, engine on it, Yamaha, with an hour meter installed on it. Um, we got just the standard prop on there right now, because what we're going to do is we're going to do the break-in with that prop, and then... We ordered from Powertech Props. We got us a little prop here, a little three blade. The technician's there. I forget what exactly it is. Um, they got a little prop here rigged for us. But this boat is rigged to the T. I mean, as you can see, we got the power pole micro uh, uh, anchor on there. Um, we've put the pole lights on here. This thing's really nice. There's up, down. Look at that, lifted the boat up a little bit there. It says up to 1,500 pounds. Um, got the Atlas micro jack plate on there. Works great. Very, very nice. Um, we've rigged it. We took off the standard lights and we put on these pole lights on here. Um, we've wired everything like really nice with tube wiring. Um, we've heat shrink, butt, sh uh, butt connected, heat shrinked, then put heat shrink tube over that. Um, we got a nice T bore removable quick release push pull holder. We got a high end Perco uh, LED stern light. Had a nice hatch put in. We installed a water fuel separator. I can get down there and see that thing. Um, I'm gonna walk around over this side. I mean, the only thing that's missing is trim tabs. I don't know if we're really gonna need any trim tabs. Um, we've rigged everything with LED lights, cushions. We went in here and rigged this thing to like high, high end um, with blue C. Everything's blue C. Uh, that's the jack plate relays. Um, Try to keep it as clean as possible. I mean, there's only so much you can do when you're working with wires like this in a tight space. Uh, we're probably gonna wind up putting on a Garmin 8610 XSV with an ultra high definition transducer. Um, Pulling platform is really nice and it is transom mounted. We had Blue Point put on a power pull uh, uh, mounting system back here so we didn't have to mount this thing to the uh, transom. Now it's off to the side. We flipped the axle, put on new springs, and we had these custom aluminum alloy rims made. And we painted the fenders, had them custom painted. And we'll go to the center here. Um, we had GNU uh, down there in Tysville, custom GNU Pluger. Uh, we made us a little box here. We put the uh, power pole anchor on here, a jack plate switch, all that good stuff. Um, right here, I think what we're going to wind up doing is putting the uh, Garmin on here. Um, these are air vents just to let it vent. This was a live well. It's not used as a live well. We put in the blue C switches, a USB port, charging port. Um, we tried to keep it, like I said, everything clean. Wiring there. Nice blue C, blue C, blue C, blue C, blue C. We wound up putting in a, a Pro Mariner one bank ultra charger. Um, keeps the battery charged. And of course, we have a high end AGM Odyssey uh, 24M battery. Got your fire extinguishers. Got the rod holders. We, we, I, I only put in a little three gallon gas tank. I've got a six, but I think three gallons is going to pull this thing, you know, 20, 30 miles more than you'll need. So instead of the live well, we got a little Frayville portable live well. You just put it to the back of the boat or keep it up here. Um, you know, this boat's designed mostly fly fish, sight fish, artificial. So really didn't need a live well. I mean, it's not like you're going to, you know, carry a lot of bait in there. Got even a little custom sticker here. Little graphics on it. Uh, the front pulling platform, again, uh, fabricated by Blue Point Marine. Um, 
we went and rigged the trolling motor uh, uh, thing up here. Uh, had uh, them make a custom uh, fiberglass mount. We painted it. Trolling motor plug, uh, LED uh, bow and stern lights, quick release mount for the trolling motor. We ordered a Minn Kota 55 iPilot with spot lock, Bluetooth. Um, that is the only thing we're waiting on to be delivered. Right now, if you were to order a trolling motor today, October, say, 22nd, 23rd today, it probably wouldn't get here until March or April. We ordered this one months ago. It's supposed to be here in a couple weeks. So we got the trailer all rigged out, nice everything. Everything's clean, as you can tell, the boat is clean. Put the pulling plat or pulling uh, push-pull holders on here. Um, very clean rigged. We've taken our time and just put this, I've taken my time, I keep saying we, and put this boat together in a professional manner. Got the onboard charger plug. A couple rod holders welded onto here from Blue Point. Um, get another view of in the side of here. Oh yeah, the tea bag that's gonna go underneath the pulling platform for the life desk. Got the tackle webs. A little bit of shot from down there. Let's back up some. It's a nice little rig there. This boat has not touched the water yet. There, are, there is zero hours on it. it. Has never ever seen the water. The engine did start. Like I said, it was put on by a Yamaha dealer. We tested it there at their parking lot, so it's under warranty. Comes with a seven-year warranty, I think. And pretty much that's it. I think the trailer comes with a year warranty. The Ganu's a year warranty. Everything's transferable. Um, this is a, to put it bluntly, a badass little fishing machine. You're looking to go sight fishing or get into some backwater creeks. You can't get any better than this. So this is Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters, and I want to wish everybody a great day. Thank you.